Hey guys, how's it going? So I've already done my initial unboxing and review of the Taurus GX4. And now we're going to start doing the videos that I love doing, where we start going through different aspects. And I'm going to start answering different questions that you guys have. So after reading the comments, you guys have been asking me a ton of things. And I'm looking forward to doing many, many more videos with this pistol. And let me say this right out of the gate. I really like it a lot. I've actually shot this pistol now <clears throat> a ton. Not this exact one, but when I was at the Iraq Vet Range Day this last weekend, I was hanging out at the Taurus booth quite a bit because I figured that's one of the pistols you guys would be most interested. This and many other great offerings from Taurus that a lot of us really know and love. And awesome shooter, like literally awesome. So stay tuned. I'm going to have videos of me shooting GX4, TX22 competition, Heritage Rough Rider Revolver. So Stay tuned. I had so much fun, guys, and I'm going to bring you along on that trip as much as possible. So, a bunch of questions, but the first one that I got right away, and I haven't seen any videos covering this, is does the Taurus G2C, G3, G3C magazines, do they fit the GX4? So, here's the 11-round flush fit. They already have a pinky extension available for these. At the original launch, they didn't have the 13-rounders available, but they're actually available from them right now, and I'm looking to get a 13-rounder very soon. So here's the 11-round flush fit. Now, let's take a look at my G3C. Awesome pistol, by the way. You guys that have these know what I'm talking about. The trigger, so smooth. Sorry I couldn't help myself. I just love the G3C, guys. So these are shipped with the 12-round magazines. All right, here's the original G2C, the Taurus pistol that literally started it off for this channel. The one where I thought to myself, is this thing really worth the hype? Well, if you've been around for a while, I think you know the answer to that. So these also have the 12 round magazine, which is virtually identical to the G3C, literally, except for they just put these little scallops, which are a really nice feature for easy, you know, extraction of the mag on the G3C where the G2C it's flat, but for all intents and purposes, as far as them latching in, you know, fitting into the actual handgun, same magazine, right? <clears throat> and here's one you haven't seen yet on this channel, and I'm going to be doing videos on it very soon. Here's the full-size G3, and this is the Toro, so check that out, guys. Now, this comes with 15 and 17 round magazines, right? And we already know that with the G2C, here's the G3 mag. They fit and function like nothing. If you're new to my channel, check out my Taurus playlist. I've done plenty of videos covering this with the grip sleeve spacers, all of that stuff. Really fun stuff, right? Same thing with the G3C. And we can kind of play Legos back and forth with the magazines. Now, a lot of you are hoping that these G2, G3 mags would fit the GX4. And unfortunately, guys, they actually don't. But we're going to go over and we're going to look at some things and maybe we can figure out why. I also met some really nice people from Taurus over the last weekend. And I'm going to send out some emails, see if I'm on the right track here. And maybe they can help, you know, add some more info. And if you guys are interested, I can find out why. But I did notice a couple slight differences and some things that they really do have in common with each other. So here's a G3C mag. We're all pretty familiar with these. Basically the same as a G2C mag pretty much, right? And we're going to see they're double stack mags. That's why we're able to hold so many rounds in these small pistols. And this is a very efficient form factor. All of these Taurus guns hold more rounds than many of the competition while still keeping a very slim, comfortable grip. And that's actually one of the main things that draws me to all these Taurus pistols. They're just so dang comfortable, right? So great magazine design. And these are all made by Metgar in Italy. Very quality manufacturer. That's the OEM supplier for many and most of the big name brands of guns out there. So good so far. Now let's look here. Double stack. Let's start coming up to the feed portion where the followers are. We're going to see that it's about the same shape all the way up and until we get near the top. Okay. And you guys can see that the GX4 which is right here, starts to narrow and taper much more drastically. Now this pistol's frame is quite a bit thinner than a G3C, so I understand why. Now look at the slide. The slide is noticeably thinner. Now on paper it doesn't look like much, but I'm going to hold them side to side for you here. And you're going to instantly be able to see there's actually quite a bit of difference in width there. Okay, with the, GX, the G3C here 
and the GX4 here, look, that little bit is a lot when you're talking just minutiae and tolerances, right? And they obviously have to have the feed lip, the feed lips wide enough and the follower to allow for the 9 by 19 round. So we're going to be about the same size up, in, you know, as far as the actual feed portion, but we're going to notice that drastic taper in the back there of the GX4. Do you guys see that? That may be the reason why they obviously had to use a different follower. Now the followers are similar, and let's take a look at them right here. So we've got the G3C, G2C, G3, as far as all of this goes up top, and then the GX4. Let's see if I can get you guys some close detailed looks. Okay, see how we have some differences right there, okay? GX4 versus the G3C. We can see the follower is definitely narrower on the GX4. Let's come in for this angle. I was trying to zoom in the best I can. These are really shiny yellow followers. There you go. Okay, let's come around the back here. Same thing, you can instantly see that that taper is much more narrow on the little GX4. Same thing as the follower. Just the body of the follower. Because you see this part here where the casing makes contact with, but the follower obviously protrudes down into the mag body, and there's just going to be different dimensions here on these followers. Now, here's what's interesting. As far as the overall footprint, they're actually kind of the same, believe it or not. Okay, so here's the GX4. G3C magazine. It inserts. It actually fits in the grip well, but if you notice, it's not clicking. Now look guys, I'm doing this very carefully at my own risk. You do not want to take this magazine for the G2C, G3C. Do not put it in your GX4 and give it a smack because it's just not going to latch in. I'll show you guys something here. Okay. This little prong that sticks out. See that little like thin piece of metal okay that's your ejector after it extracts the round out of the chamber it hits this little fine piece of metal there this little like it's a piece of steel it's strong but if you were to whack that as hard as you could with the feed lips of the magazine you could bend this and then make it where your pistol would malfunction so that's why i'm just gently inserting in and we're going to see it just does not catch it does not click but it does actually fit now look, I would not ever try shooting like this because this is not the correct magazine, but you guys are going to want to know. So I'm going to show you here and just kind of explain it so you guys can all think about it. And I want to prevent somebody from possibly, you know, ruining that extractor or ejector rather or bending their feed lips. So check this out though. So I'm just going to put a little pressure. I'm not pushing hard at all. I'm just literally holding the mag in place with my thumb here. Now let me do it this way. It's always hard to do on camera guys, but I think you know that. All right, check this out. I'm gonna rock the slide to the rear and it actually holds the slide open, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and engage this slide catch and it actually closes and then I'm gonna open it again. See, I'm not putting pressure on it, just a little bit of pressure, guys. And it holds it open. So the geometry is close enough on this G3C, G2C, G3, all the same on the top here, right? It's close enough that it actually actuates the slide catch and it fits. So why doesn't it work? Well, the mag catch notches, which these are cut for ambi, or in this case, reversible mag catch, right? Where they can be swapped around and it catches from both sides. So see these little slots? This is where the mag catch engages inside your grip frame one here on this side one here on the other side the slots appear to be similar dimensions although i would note they're larger fore and aft on the gx4 so that's kind of how that looks there i know this is kind of geeky guys but i'm a geek and i like it so hopefully some of you do too see here's the g3c it's not quite as long from front to back Although the up and down, if you will, opening seems to be about the same. And they're in different positions. So let me see if I can line the feed lips up about right. Because we don't want to go from the bottom because it's a smaller mag. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to notice they're just in a slightly different spot, guys. See here the G3C? The shiny one there is just a little bit lower. Now, could have they moved down the... The mag catch spots or move them up i don't know this has to be a reason why they, they maybe they could have moved the mag catch slots down just a little bit lower on the gx4 maybe not i'm not an engineer i'm not going to claim to be here's my opinion i wish obviously 
that the GX4 would take the G2C, G3C, G3 mags. Look, it fits, guys, but one more time. These are not designed. Don't jam them in there. I don't want to see anybody damaging your magazine or your firearm. But, yeah, I wish they would all take them because here's the thing. Concealed carry. <clears throat> I'm going to probably want to normally, and by the way, I had such great impressions of shooting this. I think I'm going to be carrying it soon. Like, I love this pistol. But I'm probably going to carry it with a flush fit. Maybe with a little pinky rest. And then have a reload with a 13 round mag. What are you guys thinking? All of you that have been buying these. But it'd be nice for the range, you know, just because. To be able to put in a nice, you know, 17 round G3 mag. And then people like Bloody Wheels, I'm sure, would end up making spacers for them if that was the case. I wouldn't carry it like this, okay? Because, look. This is basically a pistol that can fit in your pocket or easily concealed carried, IWB, OWB, however you want to do it, glove box, lunch box people have been talking about lately, which isn't a bad idea, actually. I'm not going to carry it like this, just saying. But I've had people already say, well, maybe they would want the 17 round mag for reload. So I'm a little disappointed that they don't fit. I'm sure there's a reason why, okay? Again, I'm not an engineer, and there's a lot that goes into these little micro compacts. Look, every centimeter, millimeter matters when you're trying to fit 11 rounds in something this small, flush fit. I mean, it's quite the feat that they did it. They also did it with making the grip very comfortable. I talked about that in my initial review, and I'm going to say it again. Very, very comfortable little pistol, both in the hand when I'm just sitting here at the shop and also on the range. So there you guys go. I don't think anyone's really talked about it yet. It does not appear that the mags will swap out from the previous G series to these GX4s. A little disappointed, but hey, there's so much I like about this pistol. It's not a deal breaker for me whatsoever. I'm really liking the fact that on Taurus site, they're like really stepping up the game quite a bit, making these pinky extensions. So many other things for this pistol available to the public, like right at the launch. So you should be able to get whatever you guys need as far as, you know, mags, 11 rounders, 13, pinky extensions, all that cool kind of stuff. So for those of you that have been to guns longer than me, you probably have some thoughts and know more about this. So please leave it down in the comments and let me know why you think these don't fit. I mean, I know why they don't fit. The mag catch slots in the mag are just not in the same spot. But there's probably a reason that they did that. And we can see the drastic differences. For those of you that are new and you just have a G2C or G3C, wondering if you can use your mags and your GX4, the answer is going to be no. And I want to emphasize one more time, just for the newer people into guns, look, I'm being very careful, guys. Yes, I showed you how it will hold the slide open. Yes, I can release it. It's not designed for your gun. Don't even think about trying to cram it in there. That's not the answer. That will only actually ruin either the mag or your ejector or worse. So, you know, you guys can just see for yourself if you got these. You see what I'm talking about? Just be careful. This is not designed to fit in there. But, man, a nice little pistol. And I'll give you guys a teaser for an upcoming video very soon. Manages recoil quite nicely. I'm really impressed with this dual captive all steel guide rod and spring assembly Pretty nice stuff and for those of you that have stayed here this long The Taurus people really nice people and they know that my viewers are like huge fans of these guns like literally I went there for my viewers and they were talking and hanging out with me because of my viewers because they read the comments of my videos and they know how passionate you guys are about these affordable, everyday working man's guns. And they were nice enough to give me like a whole bunch of cool Taurus stuff. So if you guys are a Patreon supporter, channel member, I'm going to be doing a giveaway there. And I even have a bunch of stickers and other stuff that I can send off to the rest of you guys too. So stay tuned. Many more videos on this little GX4. Due to popular request, I'm going to try to get my hands on one of those little barkeep revolvers. The little 22s that people have been talking about. Kind of exciting. And I just showed you guys a little teaser of my new full-size G3 Toro. So plenty more Toro stuff coming out soon. Man, this is a nice pistol too. Those of you that have these know what I'm talking about. Great, great shooters at the range, man. Wow. Well, I could keep talking about how much I love all these pistols all day, but 
there's a whole playlist of stuff you guys can go back later on and watch if you're bored. So, magazines, I went over that. Let me know down in the comments what else you guys want to know about this pistol. Because I'm definitely looking forward to doing more videos very soon. And I already have the next video planned is the G3C versus the GX4 as far as just going through both of them. Giving you guys my opinions on size, triggers, grip. All the kind of stuff there so that's next on the list and i'm counting on you guys to chime in in the comments and let me know because that's why i do these videos is for all of you all right thanks for watching and have a good one